you see, in nerve motion, you have a stimulus, you have a reaction and response. And that time is what, the, what I call the time beat of the body, you see, and how, how fast you walk, how fast you talk, all this depends upon that time beat. See. Do you have like a, 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 a model that people can think that they can find their time beat? Oh, yes. I, I try them out with a metronome and I, I, I get them down to where it's synchronized. And I say, that's your time beat. And that's where a person should play from? If you go beyond that, you're going to tension slowing it down. Is it like a person stopping the top of the club here? They try to make a line. If you try to make a line as you hit the ball, you're dead. You go from angle to angle, a line happens. But it, and, and even if you are, I mean, one of the things I found in working with this concept is when you swing a golf club around planes and arcs and you think about the target line, you will come over the top of the ball. Every, I mean, that, that's one of the biggest things in the whole teachings that, that yep. we, if you took this club, the only way I can swing this club head is at that, is if my shoulders don't turn away from it. I've got to, now I can swing the club right at the target. But the second that I turn, then you lose that see, relationship. Your left hip would raise instead of you're doing a, a drop. You see, you yeah. didn't use the... See, if I turn, it goes up as opposed to... Quadratus lumborum muscle, which is, it crimps as a V-shaped muscle coming attached to the, the, what we call the sacrum and the three joints above down to here. And see, you you'd, you'd contract that left quadratus lumborum, mm -hmm. and you use your right spina erecta at the bottom, where it connects to this. But, but, but what I, I was trying to emphasize a little bit is the actual mental part of it. Yeah. If you're, if you're trying, if you've got the club, and once you turn away, you're no longer aimed down the target line. See, hell no. Your you're shoulders aimed about 30, 35 yards right. Well, actually, your shoulders are perpendicular. They come from parallel to perpendicular. Now, the hips have only opened 30 degrees. The shoulders from are, the, from are the close, right. you know, back 90. Uh, 90 but see. mentally, if you're, you know, once you turn away from the golf club and you're aimed out to the right, and you think of swinging the club along the target line, and you're going over you're down. You're going over and down. Right. Where and so the most power and accuracy that you can create in a golf swing is allowing that thing to swing free, under, up, and out like this, and. Uh, anti. And once you got the club in the positions, which we just explained, you can control that blade. It's to swing it to an open circle. Explain I don't, that. Uh, an open it? circle is just like, now that, now this is a closed circle. I'm swinging to that point, four to ten. So, well, the hands are swinging four to ten, so are the hips. Because you come from nine, three to four, ten. Now, looking at a clock. Well, see, the people wouldn't know that. All right, look at, looking at a clock. The ball is called 12 o'clock position. Mm -hmm. The 6 o'clock is a lane from the ball right through. through the 7th circle up on that transverse plane. That plane. It would be like having a, a clock. Yeah. But okay. the clock is on the ground. You yeah. See. Right. Yeah. All right. That way? Yeah. But now, instead of swinging your shoulders this way, it'd be that way, side, left side. Now, what happens? That left shoulder swings away from the seven cervical and an arc toward the ball. And they, this one come down and arc the ball. You've got two sides that's coinciding and they'll meet and otherwise they'll never meet. But simple, uh, an easy way, what you said, it really unlocked a lot of things for me, is the golf club doesn't swing around the left side, <laughs> it swings away. Yeah. And in that way, I mean, the position that you're aimed at, you know, we, we're not aimed at the top, we're mm -hmm. aimed right at the target, you can get your center of gravity behind it, and you can control the blade in the most efficient way. Yep. Watch his knee. Watch it. Okay, now go. Now go ahead and swing it faster. Okay, swing it. If that club don't talk to you, you're not swinging it. Well, You're letting gravity, it'll, it'll drop 32 feet per pretty, second. Not that, but I, I won't be able to hear that. That's, the, that's mm. called the, the accelerator for the engine, okay? Accelerating mm. the instrument that you're trying to hit it with. Everybody's trying to make the 
the body moves fast. I try to make the club head. My club head is moving at least twice as fast as my arms. Is one of the things that was just a mystery to me when I used to play with you is where does your power come from? And it's literally a synchronization of all 12 levers. Of all 12 levers. Yeah, because they're working on different planes. Because, look here, I would like to have you do this. Mm -hmm. You're standing here like you're standing, okay? Yes. I want you to move. I'll do it. Let you see. And now, Snead would have been in the top 16th of all time uh, swings had he, had he not done this on the downswing. You see, I'm doing, and this is on the pip and decline. I flex and go out to the ball there, and I draw this back. And I go to that position and put that there. But see, and then I'm turning. I have a state of balance and an axis on which I'm going to rotate the opposite side. The, the three rotates. Now this is a post that holds up the door, this swinging into the hole, understand? So you do this, hold me up a lot, do it, and see. Mm, I got it. If you did it, it looked better than me, and I'm paralyzed. Mm. Now watch, I, I flex the knee, but I don't flex it out that way. I don't flex it in this way. I flex it out toward the ball. And there's a slight contraction of this left internal vastus, and you're extending the D by using the quadricep muscle here and the hamstrings there. Now, this controls the altitude of your swing circle. Now, this. Now, now, that, well, now what you mean by that is, is if, if the means, knee was flexed, both of them you drop. Yes. You see, that way, you have no control of the depth of your swing. I was in Japan, I used to buy the watch crystals. Put a, the watch crystal, put a ball on top, that on top end, and knock that ball off with the driver. Never break that crystal because I had perfect control of the depth of my swing. By the, the femoris flexors and rectus femoris. The rectus femoris let the hip bend. If femoris flexors let the knee bend. Now, the, as one bends, as it straightens out, you don't lose the altitude of your head. Look here, you bend both knees, your head drops. Straighten one, look here, my head. It doesn't, I didn't lose the, the height by falling to it at the same time. I understand? You know, there's one huge dynamic in, in our swing that's a little different. A lot of people do it, but they don't understand why they do it in the shoulder turn and how you were calling this like a floating joint. Mm -hmm. and well, the scapula, that's yeah. a, that is your shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. It has no sock socket. It is this glides, and, but it's a very supple and very important action because you can abduct and adduct the shoulder blade and gain 20% more backswing, okay? Which basically, if I, and, and what you mean by that is like a lot of people will just set up to the ball and they'll just turn their body to yeah. about right here. And they're locked. You see, they're locked into here. And they, some people lock the, the humus bone mm -hmm. to the pad. So the now you have to shot put. You can't use but a person is going to throw a football, like you throw a football not like you threw a golf swing because you're overhanding a football, but now you're doing an underhanded baseball throw, you see. But you're doing it from the football position. You come back, the hand is frontal position, goes back to a lateral, and now my hand's in line with the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Now they're at right angle to the shoulders. This gives you a tremendous amount of advantage over shot putting just by hitting it with a shoulder like that. And I see people that lock the arm to the pack or the people that lock the elbow to the side and they, they're not able to get the advantage of the full arm. But you know when, when you when you explain you know like when I stand erect I can turn my shoulders my neck yes. 70 degrees What's and it? I've got about a 20 degree play under both these yeah, it's the you know, shoulder, shoulder blades. blades. You see the abduction. Ab in Latin means away. Ad means two. So when you move the edge of your scapula in toward the spine, you're now adducting. Mm -hmm. Adducting. When you move it away from the spine, you're ab. Ad is two. Ab is away.